Hey all, Lawrence from Express Unity, and um, well, today we're going to be doing something a little bit more simple. I've actually been sick, I ended up getting an allergic reaction, um, and so I'm kind of feeling pretty bad, but I decided that I would continue on today and just make a simplish kind of video. Um, I have moved locations and my computer and stuff, so setup isn't quite there yet, but um, yeah, it'll do for now. Um, but yeah, basically what we're going to be doing is I will be showing you guys how we can do a basically a scene transition, basically just fading from one scene to another. Um, so when a lot of people attempt this, what they end up doing is scripting some kind of like, uh, for example, right? If we get a panel in the canvas, and let's make the transparency uh, like that so there's no transparency at all and let's just make it black so what some people would do in this case to make the scene transition is in code they would lerp the value here for the alpha but you don't actually need to code anything and it's so simple we can literally just grab the animator or the animation uh, window. Uh, let's create a new animation. And I'm just going to create a new code called uh, animation. And let's just call this fade. Now what we want is let's record. And as a start value, uh, let's just change the panel and then put it all the way back up to 155. That's just so it records the first node. And then let's say one second in, we will then change the value all the way to zero. So that if we now play this, you can see the panel will fade. All right, awesome. So now we have a panel that fades. If we play the scene, it should start off as black and it'll fade into the scene. So what we can do now is basically Create a new script and I'm just going to create a new folder here and just call it uh, transition and in that I'm just going to call it switch scene. Okay, I'll let that load up. So um, we're going to need one other uh, animation, sorry, so create a new clip and go back to that animation folder that I made and I'm just going to call this fade idle and all this is going to be is the full we want to hit the record and this is going to be the full uh, alpha uh, but we'll copy and paste it after for like a, a millisecond so that it loops um, so now what we want is let's go ahead and create a new uh, animated controller, let's call it, uh, I'll just call it fade panel. Double click it and let's go to our animation. The first one we want to drag in is our fade idle and then our fade. So I believe all we need for this is just a trigger parameter and let's call it fade. And then if it fades, we are then going to switch to the fade animation so basically we don't want it to have an exit and the transition can be fairly quick and this we can just make it transition back out and we'll just make it have an exit oops make it have an exit exit time one transition duration one and that should be good so if we play this now oh we didn't assign the animator sorry so we go back to our panel and assign the uh, the fade panel that we just made into our animator of that panel. Uh, the, the scene should just be black, no change, which is good. So what we want to do on the... Oh, it never opened our script. Okay, so on the start... 
let's go ahead and just get a public animator and we'll just call it panel anim and on start we can do something like a panel anim dot set trigger the trigger that we called was fade so let's just drag this on to our main camera just because it's got all our other scripts no big deal and we'll just drag the panel on that and that should automatically assign the animator so on start it should trigger that fade animation there it is awesome uh, we could also do something with the animations here like the fade like we don't want it to loop so if we do that okay fades in and out but that's all right it's because it's going back into the idle so uh let's see here i mean we could i don't even think we need to make it go back to the idle once it fades out so once we trigger it there it is so once we trigger it it just stays there that should be fine but now what we want is a public void and we can call it something like uh, fade into new scene and let's just have a int we'll call it index this is going to be the new scene id and we'll be using the unity engine dot scene management and we're going to say panel anim dot um oh can we just set the uh, i don't think we can okay so here's what we're gonna do back in the animator let's create a new trigger we'll just call it idle and then we'll just say make transition from any state and we're just gonna give it the idle and that should be it so once we do that actually we do want to no we don't want to do it from any state we'll do it from fade because we should already be in the fade transition so we'll just go from idle and uh, we'll have the exit time all well, this should be fine. Oh, actually, we want to have one there and one for the duration. I think that should be good. So everything is set to one second. So let's go and set trigger. We want to set the idle trigger. And we want to create a new coroutine. So let's go get this. We'll call it switch scene and we want to pass the index through here again and we'll just say yield um return new wait for seconds and uh i think the animation is one second so we'll just do that so after one second let's just do scene uh manager dot uh load sorry load scene and we want to load our index great so then here we'll just call our start coroutine and we do, we're just going to pass the switch scene with our index alrighty so I'm just going to do something very basic here and I'm just going to say uh, if input dot get e down e code dot space and then we'll just say fade into new scene with the index of one so let's save this. this is our sample scene and then let's save as again and we'll save this as one and if we go into our build settings and don't know what that scene is but i'm going to delete it 
So our first scene is our sample scene. The next one is uh, the new scene that we created. So I think that should be it for our basic transition. So we should fade into this scene. And then if we press spacebar, we fade out and we're into our new scene. Awesome. So let's go ahead. Let's just so it's easier to see. It is a new scene. Let's create a cube in the middle. Be good. It's not quite in the middle. But um oh the the camera's on an angle, that's why. Um but yeah, okay, let's save this. Go back to our first scene. Fades in, press space, fades out, and there we are, into our new scene. Alrighty, well, it was a very quick tutorial, hopefully some of you learned something. Um, it is way easier to add scene transitions than a lot of people think. You can, because it's using the animation system, you can do all kinds of fancy things. Um, so, <clears throat> excuse me, but um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Please give the video a like and uh, subscribe if you want to see more. It really helps me out a great deal. And I'll see you guys in the next one.